now I'm here to talk about 2017 and looking forward. Uh, we're talking about automation and digital. So I always think it's really cheesy when someone starts a presentation with a dictionary definition. Uh, so, so let's do that. Um, and so I looked up in Merriam-Webster the definition of automation, and they all sort of make sense. I particularly like the third one. Um, it's controlled operation of an apparatus, process, or system by mechanical or electronic devices, and it takes the place of human labor. So mechanical or electronic takes the place of human labor. Makes sense, we can build on that and I'll talk about that in detail. Uh, and digital, digital, digital is of or relating to the fingers or toes um, or done with a finger. And I'm gonna struggle with this one. We'll, sort of, <laughs> we'll make it up as we go along. There must be something I can say about that. Uh, but actually, if you get down to definition seven, uh, I think this is what we're, I think this is what we're talking about. We'll, we'll see, because I've built a presentation on this one. Um, but electronic and especially computerized technology. And the reason I bring this up, and it's not to be flippant, but when we work with a lot of enterprises, uh, a lot of clients, uh, you know, they start with, with a bit of concern, trepidation, fear even, that this stuff is so new, right? I mean, how do we figure this stuff out? It's so new, we haven't done this before. And generally, uh, the line that I say is, it's, it's not new, none of this is new. In fact, we've been automating since the wheel, right, mechanical, and taking the place of human labor. So we've been automating for a long time, and organizations traditionally are looking at ways to improve and enhance and lean. So we've been automating since this guy. For a long time, innovation uh, really was in the category of cool mechanical stuff, right? You know, Archimedes screws, levers, pulleys, those sorts of things, steam engines. Uh, and then we got to the digital era, uh, which is not new either. So the sort of the early, uh, earliest RFIDs from the 40s, everyone's talking about Internet of Things now, is, is incredible and game changing, um, stands on the shoulders of 70-odd you know, year old technology. Can't do a presentation without mentioning this woman. Uh, at the time, the most beautiful woman in the world she was billed at. In 1942, she filed a patent for spread spectrum wireless technologies. That's Hedy Lamarr. Her patent is the underpinning to CDMA, Bluetooth, all of the wireless stuff that we use today. It was actually too complex and too early for the military to use it in the war, so they didn't end up using her patents until about 20 years later. Well, let's get to technology that matters to us in this world of work. There is recognizing of written stuff, OCR. OCR is not new, right? But it's now called cognitive, and people are thinking that it is brand new. It's not new, and it's also not perfect. Uh, similarly, IVR, also not new, also not perfect, but is playing a bigger and bigger role in sort of this digitization and future of work. And I can go on. So you've got machine learning, 1990, deeper learning, uh, 2006. So it's important to put this into context. We've been doing this for a while. <laughs>